Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today is another uh, Gorilla Tag thumbnail tutorial. I know I stopped posting Gorilla Tag, but this is just, you know, another thumbnail tutorial. Because the last one did really good, and you guys had a lot of questions. I'm going to try to get all of them out of the way with this video and um, try to go more in depth and actually you know, explain it good. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to photopia.com. I will also leave in the description. You're going to click New Project and YouTube thumbnail create and you're gonna this is your uh, canvas right here you can also use like Photoshop it's basically the same thing but this is free so I, this is better probably the next thing you need to do is take a photo of your monkey in game so how to do it if you're on PC install the camera mod and open up snipping tool and basically how it works you click new then you outline your monkey then you just copy the photo and yeah if you're on quest what you want to do is there's a there's like a way to take a photo i forgot how to do it but i'll show it on the screen and i'll do like a photo or something or a video after you take that photo go to remove.bg this is the website and get in it a photo of your monkey it's gonna have a background so okay right here i'm gonna take a photo of monkeys from my um gorilla tech stream yesterday i'm gonna copy it so go to a snipping tool right click copy after you take it and then control v control plus v it's gonna paste it in here give it a sec and magic just like that copy the image and now you have it in also, by the way, future dots in here, if you can't resize your image, you want to go up to transform controls, turn this on, and then drag this up and down. If you want to, like, let's say you want to go over here and you just want to stick, like, go to the left, hold shift, uh, then drag it, and it'll do that. If you just do it normally, it'll go like that, but if you hold shift, it'll do that. But I'm not going to be using that image today. I already have an image that I'm going to use. I'm going to be using... This image right here, just a photo of me with a little torch in my hand. So basically, what we're gonna try to do today, we're gonna try to make like a, a live stream thumbnail. So if I look up Gorilla Tag Live, you know the top streams have like these really cool thumbnails. Like it, you'll see what I mean. Like these right here, you know, there there's a big live symbol, with a lot of grass, there's a big shadow. I'm gonna teach you how to do all of that. And now what you wanna do is go to Image, Adjustments, Brightness, and turn this up to I'm gonna do like. 40, actually that's too much, I'll do like 30. Go back to image, adjustments, hue slash saturation, click that, and then change this to pretty high. So like, how, whatever you think looks good. So now your monkey's gonna look very uh, like bright. You can also change the hue, which will change the color. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so now that I have my monkey, we're gonna add a shadow. So how we add a shadow is look up invisible image on Google. And you're gonna see one right here called invisible slash PNG man cine. Get that one, copy it, paste it in. And now you're gonna have it as a layer right here. Put it above your monkey layer, put it right there. Go to your drawing tool right here, make it pretty big, and then just draw a shadow. I'm gonna do like, hmm. Okay, that's gonna, that's gonna be my shadow. After that, you wanna go to filter, uh, blur, Gaussian blur and it's gonna blur out your photo so just make it pretty blurry and then actually put your monkey layer above it now you have a little shadow now it doesn't look very good i'm actually gonna redo that real fast okay now that you have your shadow done i don't know why it looks so bad my old one on my other uh, something looks much better what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some grass so we're gonna look up field of grass transparent we're gonna take this image right here from adobe we're gonna paste it in make it fit and then you want to do the same thing with this turn up the brightness turn up the saturation basically yeah just the same thing and change the hue to like 20 so it's really green okay the next step after that is to get a good background so what do you want to do is actually look up sky background take whichever one looks good to you you can do this one whatever so like after you take this, you want to go to image pixelator and go to online tools, the first one. This one's the best one. Paste it in. 
and it'll basically pixelate it. You want to copy that one, and then just put that sky background right above background and below everything else, and you're gonna have a nice sky back background. But as you can see, their uh, background is very like bright, and we're, we wanna we wanna replicate that effect. So what you wanna do is go to image brightness again. Just turn that bad boy up. If it gets really white down there, turn down the contrast or not the contrast, the the whatever. Go to saturation. Turn up saturation. Okay, after you made a sky background that you actually like, as you can see, it's very bright, just like theirs. You know, you don't. It doesn't have to be exactly like theirs, but like if you want to, you know, copy copy the effect, basically what what everybody's doing right now, the the current trend. Just uh, do this. The next step is to get a live, just like a live transparent background, and the first, the second one you're gonna find right here. Copy this. We're gonna paste it in wherever you want to, so we can just do like right here, why not? And then to make it stick out, add a shadow to it, do a drop shadow, make it go down, and change that. And I'm also gonna add, get the invisible image again, invisible image, it's just, you're gonna need it again, so copy it, paste it in. So take your drawing tool again, make it not as big. And basically we're gonna draw on the monkey. Draw around his arms first to make that look pretty cool. You'll you'll see it when it's done. We're gonna do a little uh, shadow right there. Why not do that? Okay, now you wanna go back to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and just blur it. And as you can see, we got a pretty good result in my opinion. I think I might have done a little bit too big of a shadow right there, so I'm gonna redo it, but keep doing it until you get a good shadow that you like. Okay, I finally got a shadow that I think looks pretty good. So the next step is just to uh, kind of like mess around with your monkey, make it look good. So right click, right click on him. Go to blending options and just kind of mess around with these. You can do whatever you want. Another thing that you can do is go to click on your monkey and you go to filter, and then sharpen, and then just sharpen it if you want to make it look like that. In my opinion, it doesn't look that good. So right here, you can do a specific amount of how much you want to, you know, sharpen. So with no sharpen, it looks like this, and with full sharpen, it looks like that. I'm gonna do like a 60% sharpen. What I'm gonna do is look up a pyramid. Find some pyramid online. So I'm gonna take this right here, copy it. Go to remove that BG, remove the background for it. It should go pretty fast, yep. Copy that, place them in the background. Okay, let's do it like that. Make them go below the monkey in the layers. And then go above like grass and stuff. And then you can, you know, turn up the brightness and do all that stuff again to make him uh, stick out. And that's basically it. You can also add a shadow to it if you would like. And there you go. That is how to make a professional live stream thumbnail for completely free. I hope you guys enjoyed. But yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please like and subscribe because if you never had me, you know, you, would, you wouldn't know how to make these kind of thumbnails or you might already know how to make them and you just watch it because why not? But still, please like and subscribe to support me. It means a lot. The last video did really good, so thank you guys so much. I hope this video is good. I hope it helped you. And um, I'll see you guys later and I'm gonna stream today. So, peace out.